All right, guys, we are back on our video here, and this video is going to be going over the week two of the fantasy hockey event and the prototypes event. Unfortunately, again, I'm kind of maybe you know rushing this video a little bit. I apologize. Again, a lot of a lot of things kind of happening here for me. I got to kind of make this quick, and then I got to take care of some personal stuff. But make sure you guys do leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, and let's hop into this video right now. We got the prototypes week two card. You got Quinn Hughes, Brett Pesci, Boone Jenner, uh, and we got Braden Point and Milan Lucic. All right, so you got those five brand new cards again objectives do remain the same so i don't really want to show that off here uh and then we also got the event card for prototypes you got alfredson shanahan linden blake and marchment and then we got fancy hockey msps we got the tara vinen rasmus anderson jacob chikrin tyler sagan and Johnny Goodrow, all right? So those are the Fancy Hockey MSPs. And then here are the event Fancy Hockey cards. You got Lundell, Barzell, Huber, Sergachev, Riley, Perry, Cousins, Miller, Boldy, Bouchard, Latang, and Sorrow. So those are all of the Fantasy Hockey just event cards. Uh, and again, objectives do remain the same. Uh, there are probably some new moments, I believe, right? Yeah, there are probably some new prototype moments here. Uh, would I be correct? I would be. You got Boone Jenner's here. You got a base pack and a goal player. Two goal players, one goal player, 500 coins. Two goal players, one goal player. I mean, that could be decent because, I mean, X Factor, not X Factor, sorry. Uh, Evos you can get technically in those. A base pack, one goal player, and a prototypes collectible, and one goal player, and 500 coins, right? So that's how uh, the new moment shake out for prototype. And let's check out some of the new packs that have come out as well today. Packs that are out. Really, the main one I want to talk about today, I mean, these are the same exact ones as last week. The prototypes greater chance choice pack the prototypes power up pack week two is new i mean it's just week two version uh the prototypes players pack uh, as well you got the prototypes mix pack but this brand new fantasy hockey choice pack is ridiculous it's uh it's the one that people have been opening and people have been getting uh and it's it's a ridiculous one i opened for them as well i'll probably have a video on that out tomorrow but there it is 86 plus 10 percent but you have a greater chance of pulling a previously released fancy hockey player you get week two or one in this pack and i've seen some people get some crazy crazy things in this so uh we'll see uh exactly if they're actually worth it but that's a huge new pack right there and those are the odds on them and you have the jumbo elite player pack that's out jumbo premium pack and then the mini ultimate pack the nhl players choice pack and the guaranteed 180 plus pack Pack. The sets here, guys. Looking at the sets of prototype ones, pretty much the same as last week. So we just traded in one event collectible to get their 82 overall version. The Hughes, the Pesci, the Lucic, the Point, and the Jenner. And then for the fantasy hockey ones, again, identical. The week one ones are gone now. Uh, you can make a one of three week two choice pack. Uh, and you can make the Sagan, the Tara Vinen, the Johnny Gaudreau, the Rasmus Anderson, or the Jacob Chikrin card. All right. So that is, uh, those are all the fantasy hockey sets. Uh, and then we're going to go over uh, to pretty much all the players here and kind of just look through those as well. But uh, the sets, they cost exactly the same too. Uh, pretty much uh, nothing different there. It's just different, just different players and different uh, week weeks really when it comes to the sets. So let's look, look at some of the players now uh, from the prototype and the fancy hockey. The prototypes event here. So here we got with the week two cards and starting with the week two, we got Boone Jenner. There he is. 6'2", 203, left-handed centerman, silver no contest and gold born leader. 83 face-offs on him, 85 speed, 85 acceleration there. So uh, Jenner, you know, he's, he's a good one. I mean, he's, well, not a good one. Sorry, that, that's taking it too far, guys. Jenner is actually not a good one. I, I kind of caught myself there. I don't really like this card. I mean, 85 speed, it kind of feels like a, a basic, uh, basic one here. And and I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not really crazy about Boone Jenner here. I mean, it's just, it's, it's really, uh, it's it's really whatever. So, I mean, not not crazy about Boone Jenner here. 62203. Uh, then you got this Quinn Hughes card. Now, the Hughes is a sick card. Silver, seeing eye, gold tape to tape, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, he's got a good shot. Uh, it's that skating that makes him just insane, though. Uh, that skating is tremendous on, on Quinn Hughes. Uh, defensively, not amazing. By checking of only 79, totally not amazing. But Quinn Hughes is still a really smooth skating and good defenseman. So um, I, I like it. I like Quinn Hughes. I do. And then we got Braden Point, 5'11", 180. All right, he's got silver close quarters and gold snipe. Sniper forward and shooting boost, 92 speed and 92 acceleration. Pretty good shot there. 93, 90, uh, 88, 94, and 88 with synergies boosted there. Uh, 81 face-offs on point there too. 
Uh, but yeah, I like Point. It's a good card. Uh, you got the Brett Pesci here, defensive defenseman and defensive boost, silver quick pick and gold shutdown, 85 speed and 85 acceleration on him, 99 defensive awareness there with synergies boosted. That is really good, actually. Uh, and then you got the Lucic, 6'3", 240 with enforcer forward, checking boost, silver back at you and gold truculence, 86 speed with synergies boosted. I mean, it's more of a card you mess around with, 99 body checking here. Uh, he's just kind of a guy that, again, you just want to absolutely, uh, you, you can just, cr you just crunch people. So, uh, I really like this Lucic card. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely would recommend him if you guys wanted to, to kind of just mess around with him. Silver puck on a string, gold, third eye, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. Uh, again, the stats don't mean anything. Tara Vine's off to a pretty good start here for Carolina as well. Could be a guy that certainly goes very high in overall. Uh, again, Hurricanes are a good team. He's a good player. It makes a lot of sense. Tara Vine is a good choice there. Uh, you got this Morgan Riley. Riley got one back in NHL 22. Riley's the number one D-man on the Leafs. He will definitely be getting a lot of goals. He's got two-way defenseman, playmaking boost, silver, third eye, 85 speed, 85 excel on Riley. Uh, Rasmus Anderson, master set player, two-way defenseman, playmaking boost, silver heat seeker, and gold send it. So those are his abilities. Again, those are the MSPs so far. Uh, and you got Barzell. He could be a really good one quick too. He doesn't have to be like that high overall. He's got 90 speed, silver wheels on him too. That is gross. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it, it's a good card. I mean, it's a good card, and he's a guy that I feel like could definitely go up. I mean, I know he's really had a great year in a while when it comes to goal scoring, but he could be good. Chikrin is kind of the guy I'm looking at, though. 6'2", 220, uh, two-way defenseman, shooting boost, silver in reverse, and gold thunderclap as his abilities. Uh, he could be really good. He could be really good. Um, I like Chikrin a lot. Uh, yeah, that could be a really super good card. Sergachev here too, 78 overall, two-way defenseman, accelerator boost, silver elite edges. Sergachev, another guy that should be getting a lot of ice time with the Lightning. Hedman's obviously a top pairing defenseman uh, for them, but so is he. You got Lundell with two-way two -way forward, defensive boost, silver quick draw, 81 speed, 80 excel on him. Again, don't really pay attention to that. Caden Price, shooting boost, two-way defenseman there. Again, depends on him. He's got pretty good size though, 6'1". Uh, is, uh, is a good one for sure. Huber, 6'2", 187, shooting boost, two-way forward, and silver magnetic. Um, and then we also have Ayafalo. I, I think it's old. No, Ayafalo is an old one. And then some of the new ones here as well. Uh, we got Perry. Corey Perry actually is a new one. 6'3". He's got grinding forward, checking boost, and silver. And, and I mean, again, Perry, I don't know about him. Probably not going to be that high overall. Let's be real. I mean, Perry... I mean, it, it could be because he's also getting probably a lot of ice time because who else is going to get ice time on that team? Uh, anyway, then you got, uh, that's an old card. Uh, you got the, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You got the Dylan Cousins. Okay, Dylan Cousins, 6'3", 195, right-handed shooting boost and two-way forward, silver close quarters. All right, again, Cousins, a guy that certainly will go up. I mean, he will. Dylan Cousins will go up for sure. I mean, he's a great young forward, great, great talent, great shot. Uh, and then you got JT Miller at 72 overall here, 6'1", 218, silver unstoppable force on him. Uh, could certainly be a good one. And then Pedenza, and then you got uh, Buck, Boldy. All right, you got Boldy here, 6'2", 201. Right now he's currently hurt, I believe, which is unfortunate. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's, he's a good one. Silver make it snappy, power forward. And then... Tyler Sagan at 71 overall, 6'1", 205, silver 1T. He's got gold snipe right there too. So pretty good abilities on Sagan. But again, <laughs> I don't know if he's really going to get up there. Evan Bouchard could be a good one. Oilers, number one offensive defenseman for sure. Offensive defenseman he's got as his synergy, shooting boost, and silver thunder clap. And then Johnny Gaudreau right there at 70 overall, another MSP, playmaking forward, agile dangler boost, silver wheels, and gold elite edges. And then to round it off, we got Gauthier, all right, 70 overall, you know, no silver super, silver ability, gold one for some reason though. Latang with two-way defenseman, accelerated boost, and silver stick him up for Latang. Saros is a goalie, so and he's 5'11", can't really... 
expect much from him, but 5'11", silver post to post at least, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I kind of round out all the new cards for today, and let me know what you guys think of week two of both events, and I hope I kind of gave you guys enough info on everything you really want to know. Guys, hope you didn't enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's, and join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.